All right, guys, so we got a storm rolling in, so I got to make this video very quick. But here behind me are probably my two favorite cleaners for dive gear. Of course, Pal Palau is my go-to just to clean dive gear in general. And then you ain't going to beat Dome Dish Detergent. To me, that is the absolute best cleaner you'll ever get for your dive gear. And early in the year, I made a video on how I decom my equipment, my BC, my reg, my full face, anytime that I do some type of salvage dive where there's hazmatic material. If you don't know what hazmatic material is, here's a great example, this gas right here. And anytime we lift a boat, a car, an airplane, there's gonna be hazmatic material in the water that's gonna stick to our gear. When that video I showed you how I clean my gear, there was also another video I made where I talked about throwing your gear away and buying new. And the jobs that we do, we actually charge enough sometimes that we can afford to do that. However, on dry suits, because they do take a very long time to get new custom suits in, we don't always just throw them away. All right, guys, this is going to be a really short tutorial on how we decontaminate our dry suits. Simply, while we're still wearing them, we get sprayed down with it. And then, as you can see, my oldest daughter is just putting dome dish detergent everywhere, putting it on my head, my arms, my legs, my back. And then her and my youngest daughter are just going to start scrubbing. Now, here in a minute, you're going to see they're going to start scrubbing my face. Typically, no, we wouldn't use the same brush to scrub our skin. But it is important that you clean your hands, your face, any exposed skin area if you've been uh, in contact with any type of hazmatic material there. But uh, yeah, that's how we do it. We just scrub it with brushes and then we rinse it off very uh, good and thorough. And then, of course, we hang our gear up, we allow it to dry. And we may have to do this a couple of times. Just to make sure that all that uh, hazmatic uh, material comes away from our gear, away from our suits, and even away from our skin. This is not only going to prolong the life of your equipment, it's also going to keep you safe as well. That's how much soap did you put in my hair? Uh, not a lot. <laughs> well, I'm not doing it. Shh. Crap. I. Yeah, yeah. Tell me. Why won't come out? What the crap? How much soap did you use? Not a lot, I swear. How much soap did you use, Tessa? Maybe a lot. This turned him white. Look at my face. So there you go guys, it's that simple. Get your dive team buddies there with you and they can scrub you down while you're still in your suit. Now obviously you won't wanna have them scrub your face with a brush, that was simply done as a gag. And of course I think my wife went a little overboard by putting too much soap on me as well. However, you do wanna decom your equipment and yourself as quickly as possible because you know gas and all that stuff can burn your skin and of course you don't wanna get it in your eyes or anything like that. So please decom your gear as quickly as possible, take good care of your gear and it will take good care of you as well. But guys, if you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share if you got any questions. If you're a dive team out there or you're a dive team leader and you want some help on how to prolong the life of your equipment, if you do the same type of diving that we do, Drop me a comment down below or send me an email at brian at lakehickoryscuba.com and I'll try to help your team out the best I can. But guys, that's going to be for it today. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.